All right, here's a little loop problem. We're going to use a for loop for this one. This one's called sum series. It's going to show you a nice uh, example of using a for loop uh, to take the sum of all the numbers from A to B. Okay, so the user enters two numbers. You'll see here I've already got the user entering A and B, and I've made a variable called sum. <clears throat> now, let's start our for loop and use that for loop to go through every single number from A to B, and we're going to add it on to sum, and then eventually print out the total sum. So here we go. The for loop, which looks hard for beginners, uh, this is one way it looks, is I'm going to start a counter for my loop. I'm going to call my counter k. Uh, you'll see k in a lot of textbooks because k is short to type, and it looks clean and neat, and you can recognize it as a k really easily. I want my counter to start at A, okay, which is different. In those previous simple examples, I like started the counter at 1. Now we're going to start this counter at whatever the user entered, right? So K is A. Now you put the condition for when this for loop should keep running. Keep running this loop while K is less than or equal to the second number they entered, B. So if they enter 100, K is going to keep going up until it hits 100. Now I type in what I want k to do, and I'm just going to say I want k to go up by 1, because I want every single number, right? I want it to go like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm going to go up by 1s. Now, there's my for loop. What do I do in the loop? I'll do two things here for us. I'm going to print out k, just to show you what it's doing. And now I'm going to add it onto the sum. So sum equals sum plus k. So you have to remember here, the very first time this runs, let's say the user's typed in 6. k equals 6. I print out 6, and I go sum equals the current value of sum, which is 0 right now, plus 6. So now sum will be up to 6. Then it does whatever you did here. It adds 1 to k. It comes back up. Now k is going to be 7. Print out 7, add it on. Go back up. 8, add 8 on. And it keeps cycling until k breaks this rule. When this is no longer true, the for loop stops, and I get down here. Now I'm actually just going to add quickly one last thing here. I'm just going to say sum is, and I'll print out the sum. And then, you know what? I think I can just sort of leave it at that. And so let's give this a quick run here, some series. Nice little run. Enter the first number. Let's say 5. Let's say the second number is 10. And let's see what the output was there, right? Lightning fast. And you'll see there, sum is 5. Then we went to 6. Yeah, added 6 to 11. Added 7, 18, etc. And it does the correct sum of 45. You okay, always make sure you're not missing a number, right? Like I typed in 10, 10 was added on. Make sure your condition that you put up in here is correct. Often beginners will miss the equal sign. You know, they'll stop one early or they might go one past. All right, so just make sure it's working perfectly with a few tests. That's some series. Enjoy.